Hi, my name is Wakin Breslin, and today I'm going to talk about the trend of atomic radius down the group 1. First, I'm going to start with the factors that determine the atomic radius of an atom. The first one is the effective nuclear charge, usually represented in equations as Z subscript EFF. The second one is the shielding or screening effect, and the last one is mutual repulsion between electrons. Effective nuclear charge is the nuclear charge that is felt by the valence electrons of an atom. The effective nuclear charge for a given electron is given by the true nuclear charge, Z, less the repulsive or shielding or screening effect of the inner electrons, which is S. When moving across a period, the number of protons and the number of electrons increase by 1. However, each electron is added to the same shell at about the same distance from the nucleus. Since the electrons are added to the same principal quantum shell and about the same distance from the nucleus, they are relatively ineffective at shielding each other and the screening effect remains approximately constant. But at the same time, more protons are added to the nucleus. Thus, the effective nuclear charge for the electrons in the valence shell increases. This causes the electrons from the valence shell drawn closer to the nucleus and the atomic radius becomes smaller. But this is only applied when we're talking about across a period. What about down a group? Like I said earlier, Let's take group 1. The screening effect of the inner shell electrons makes the atomic radius larger. The screening effect is due to the mutual repulsion between the inner shell electrons and the outer shell electrons. Filled inner shells shield outer electrons more effectively than do the electrons in the same subshell. On descending a group, there is an increase in atomic radius as the proton number increases. The higher the principal quantum number of the valence electrons, the larger the atomic radius. As we move down group 1, or any given group, both the nuclear charge and the screening effect increase. However, the outer electrons enter new energy levels. So, although the nucleus gains more protons, the electrons are not only further away, but are also screened by more inner shell electrons. Consequently, the effective nuclear charge decreases, and the atomic radius increases. In conclusion, down the group 1, the atomic radius increases due to the screening effect increases. That's all from me. Thank you for watching.